this matchup. I do know Nico kind of messed with Richter a little bit in the beginning of Smash 4, but... Smash 4. Sorry. Ultimate. <laughs> oh, God, ultimate, ultimate. It's not Smash 4. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, I know Nico kind of messed with uh, Richter a little bit, so he's... Yeah, I should be him, familiar I've, with. I've seen him pull out Richter a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. So he should be a little bit familiar with what the character's trying to do in neutral, but mm -hmm. Nitro's been playing really well. Only person that shut him down has been Charlie. Yeah, so we'll have to see if he loses any more games <laughs> in this tournament. Because the only ones he's lost to are to Charlie so far. But here we go, anime character one versus anime character two. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Nico like. taking his time to uh, try and figure out how to get in. Doesn't want to get unnecessarily hit, but I think that Dragon Punch actually shield poked. Interesting. I think it's really good for Nico to uh, use speed in this matchup just because he's fast and he can allow him to uh, approach him much easier, not having to get stuck in trying to block all the projectiles. Yeah. I think Jump Art would be a good option too. If he, like, one full hop across the stage and he could go over the cross in like a, yeah. in, like, a second, so before he has time to pull out Axe, probably. But these two, so far, going blow for blow. No one has a clear advantage so far. Yeah, everyone tries to roll from the, the ledge against Nico. I'm just waiting for Nico to just do like an F smash or up smash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, caught the roll. He's, I like this choice to switch the shield there. It's going to stay alive just a little bit longer. Oh, he didn't go for like a fair or a whip uh, over there. Or a force smash. I think he wasn't expecting it to not sweet spot, so he didn't quite take the opportunity he needed to. Wow, not letting him get anywhere close to the ledge. Yep. That was pretty much perfect timing on the forward air swing. Like, right at the perfect angle where Richter has to do a recovery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very smart stuff. And I think that fair just covers such a wide range, too, so it's very easy to intercept Richter where he wants to be to try and recover back to the stage. Nice, he's used the speed art to dash out of shield, doesn't want to get caught with the digital shield break. Because I think a lot of people do get caught, um, caught in shield break situations versus Victor because they want to try to block all the projectiles. Right. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. he just swings like an F smash on your shield or something. Yeah. But there's the back air. 100% Nico is not too worried at this point. He's playing in a way that he knows I can get this character off stage and uh, once I get him where I want, I can edge guard really well. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like, just in general, Nico's had a good pace of flow in the match. I think it's something that helps too, along with the art, is that he has the range to back up against a character like Richter. So like, he can just like throw out Baron and it forces them into shield rather yeah. than just like a dash back. So he's able to cover Richter and just make sure he doesn't have time to set up. Oh, back hit of neutral air. I think that. Wow. I think the back hit of neutral air comes out a little bit faster. So that's why. Uh, yeah, he like, he like does it, it. He like starts from the back too, doesn't he? So yeah. like when he does neutral air, so he'll come out first. Big damage with the Buster Art. Yeah, there it is. He's using that speed to just get so much mobility to jump over the projectiles and get right in his face. Yeah, like a like one short hop, and then he's like there already in your face. Yeah, switch and drop art, jump hard like I said before. But at that time, he's going to get caught by DP. At least Nitro is still trying to put up a fight here. Oh, oh, he had the opportunity for Force Smash, but I don't think he expected him to actually get hit yeah, by definitely the, the Holy Water. Yeah, he definitely didn't think he would get hit. Yeah, so I think he was trying to run back to cover a roll into Force Smash, and he's like, oh, shoot! He actually got hit by it, and then by that time, it was just already too late. I like that Nigo even switched the shield, though. But there it is, catching the jump. Good positioning on that aerial from Nitro. Let's see what he can do to bring this back. Okay. Starting to get this damage in. Oh, unsafe dash attack is going to get thrown off stage. Hopefully not his life, though. Yeah. He, uh, he was expecting him to press a button. That, that dash attack would probably would have covered everything, but that didn't quite happen. Wow, air slash out of shield. That'll do it. He's like, you got DPs, I do too. Yeah, that air slash is much better in this game. I don't even know if it's intangible in the start or not, but it's basically a DP in this game, so... Yeah, it's a really good kill option. It's like a fast out of shield option that Shulk can go for, which he doesn't necessarily have that many of. Mm -hmm. So first game going to Nico. 
Let's see where Nitro takes him. All right, here we go. Nico looking like he's starting to get more into the things. Nice. I like the choice of the Persona 4 soundtrack yeah. <laughs> for uh, Mementos. Yep. Uh, I love the Persona 4 music. I haven't pl quite played 5 yet, so this is the only thing I have going oh. for me. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely play it mm -hmm. if you have time. It's a long game. All right. Forto comes in. Yeah, just the same story as last time. I mean, it's just a smaller stage. We're finally not on PS2 anymore. Yeah. Nitro's actually think, willing to yeah, try other Nitro's stages. Yeah, Nitro's the only one who's been picking other stages. Which yeah. Is funny enough. Like, he went to Kalos uh, like, on the yeah. set with Charlie, too. Like... And, and then Smashville. Or no, FD, yeah, you're right. Anyways. Uh, I think Nitro's uh, thought process behind picking this stage was that with the platforms, it might be a little bit harder for Nico to approach him because you have to jump through the platforms instead of just being able to switch to an art and just, like, get right in his face immediately. Yeah. But uh, Nico's still really good at edge guarding, so even though he's got kind of getting trapped on the platforms, he's still playing him really well in neutral. But does get caught by the axe there. Right. Oh, great parry, though. Gets it down to a 1 and 2. Can he take the stock, though? That's the question. Because it looks like just the way that Shulk's been moving, it's been difficult for Nitro to really hit him, all things considered, with, like, a strong hit. So. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and, uh, that was that was risky. Using using down to 2 and then you ending up off stage, and so you have to use your jump to make it back. That's, like, a really bad position to put yourself in. Yep, especially against Shulk. Yeah, but he, he survives it. Just uh, not quite gaining anything off of it either. And all of a sudden, the damage is slowly tacking on. There's the Buster Art grab into Ooh, Air Slash. Wow. I didn't know that worked. Neither did I. Buster <laughs> down throw to Air Slash is so much percent. Yeah. And now it's Smash Art. And uh, that's potentially going to be it. Yeah, I like that Nico's throwing out these Air Slash when uh, Nitro's trying to get close with like his up B. Yeah. It's, it's just another option that you can do to contest that really quick out of shield option that he wants to go for. Mm -hmm. oh, oh! Did the did the cross come back and intercept the force smash? Yeah, it clanked oh. with the second hit. <laughs> that, okay. was, that was crazy. I don't even I don't even think that Nitro planned it that way. It's just sort of the Smash God said, okay, you know what? I don't want Nitro to die that way today. Man, that was such a good read from Nico too. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, he just like dropped down and then he was gonna do it, but then the cross was like, nope! You can use it in a similar way that you would use uh, the boomerang. Like, yeah. so you, you throw it, and then you kind of like force your opponent to shield, and then you use like the returning hitbox as a way to pressure them. Nico having a hard time trying to figure out how to take out this stock. Got to get something going. Wow, I thought he was fine for a second. Okay, we'll take it. If he directional air dodge, then maybe, but it looked like that. Nitro uh, just didn't press the button or anything, so he just kind of died. Yeah. And all the damage is stacking back on. Doesn't cover the roll, but Nico's just chilling. Like, he knows that uh, he has a lead. Okay, so he needs to jump. No, the axe, man, covering the air dodge. All right. Okay, we got ourselves a game here. But the way that Nico's trying to cover these options doesn't look like we're going to have much of a game much longer. Great air slash after get out of shield yet again. Okay, covers the ledge with the holy water. Let's see if he can get back to the stage. Another air slash out of shield. Sitting him super far off stage. Oh, he uses his double jump. Oh, but he's in a position to come back with the tether. I was really scared for a second there. Oh, nice. Man, he goes so good at covering ledge options with this character. Yeah. Or in general, really. It's like one good strong aerial and smash hard. That's all he needs, man. Man, shield art versus, uh, versus Belmont just seems so good because like, they don't necessarily have really strong moves that like, kill you unless they get it set up. And then you switch to shield and it like, negates a lot of that. Yeah. Especially while he get, if he gets caught by the holy water. He like uses his shield to stay alive. Yeah. Okay, just miss space yeah. into dare. That's gonna be a forward tilt. Yeah, Nico's just playing really well in this matchup, honestly. He's not really getting caught by the projectiles, not really getting like frustrated with the, you know, defensive style of play. He's just saying, alright, you can you're gonna throw things, I can play just as patient as you. 
And uh, if you throw you off stage, I'll just gonna edge guard you. Exactly. Alrighty. Moving on. Game three between these two. Potential last game for Nitro. Here. Oh, he switched to a Persona 3 soundtrack. I think this guy really likes Persona. Yeah. I mean, I hope he does. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, it would be a big game of Mementos. Uh, if I, should I play Persona 3 or 5 first? Wait, oh, uh, actually, you should play 5 first. Really? Oh, yeah. okay. Alrighty. Anyways, back to the match. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later why. Okay. But dang, this wow. is the match. Oh, he, oh, he didn't take any percent. Dang. Yeah, but, zero to death? What and that was like the first time I saw like a pivot forward smash. He just got like four fares and then like pivot <laughs> forward smash, man. Like, All right, smash it, it just happens. Smash hard <laughs> smash attacks are as crazy as I thought they were. Yeah. I mean, it's got it's got the word smash in the title, man. Like, It's got to be hard hitting. And already working on his second stock. I think this is like about the same percentage that he died for the for the smash attack yeah. early on. So if you get that again, then that's already another stock on. Yeah, dying around 50 to smash attacks is just like, that's got to make you feel a certain way. Especially as soon as the match starts. Like, you don't even yeah. get time to get warmed up or anything. You're already starting pretty much at a big deficit. Mm -hmm. Alright, down tilt 1 and 2. Oh, oh, he was facing backwards too, so he took the bonus knockback from the backslash at the ledge. That's really not what he needs right now. Yeah. And the percents are even, but of course the stock count's completely off right now. Yeah, just gonna toss him back. Okay, he was he was facing backwards that time as well, but he parried this time, so he yeah. didn't get he was, he was ready for it. He didn't really gain anything off of it, except that he kept his positioning exactly oh. how it was, but... Just like Nico. that, another stock gone. Potential three stock coming in for Nico. And yeah, Nico is just really showing the weaknesses of this character off stage. Like he's not letting him come back. That might just be him using the, a really good character for edge guarding, plus him just knowing how this character's recovery works from playing Victor himself. Yeah. So Nico just weighing him out, spacing around these hit boxes, just dashing back and forth. Danza comes in, got another opportunity to try and get something, but yeah, just jumps a little bit too quickly before Nitro can set anything up with the Holy Water. Wow, he's dead. Super deep off stage, three stocks. Nico just completely shutting him down, showing your recovery is super free off stage when it comes.